Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it. Literally. <laughs> Each and every one of you, of us, have made it through thick and thin. And at the end of the day, at the end of the semester, we graduated. First, thank you Scottsdale Community College for giving us the opportunity to do this commencement speech. We are truly honored that SCC chose us. Through our journey to this podium, we have defined our time by the welcoming environment, the community, and the experiences we shared with our peers and teachers. My name is Austin Hunter. And my name is Zoe Hunter. If you think we look alike, it's because we are siblings. Twins, actually. And while we don't always see eye to eye, a quote we both like that really speaks our message to you is from Audrey Hepburn. She said, the most important thing is to enjoy your life and to be happy. It's all that matters. In addition to looking alike, you might also think we look like we're a little young. Well, it's because we're a little young. <laughs> we both started college at the ripe old age of 14. And being that we're twins, we started SCC at the same time. I guess it's a twin thing. Uh, right before we started taking classes, here we took a little self-guided tour around campus. First thing we noticed was how beautiful the campus is and how nature was so heavily incorporated into the architecture of the school. We also saw a little bunny run across campus. And from there on out, we immediately fell in love with the school. And we knew we had to go here. Though, because we were 14, it was so weird to think we could be going to a college. I need to pause here and selfishly offer a quick thank you to our mom for driving us every single day to school before work and making sure we had all the right classes and credits. You are truly the best, mom, and none of us got to this day of graduation without our team, right? For us, our mom is the biggest part of our team. We decided to first dip our toes in with one in-person class at SEC and the rest being online. Do you all remember what your first day of your first class was like? Um, what that class was? Take a moment to think about it. For me, the first class I took was acting one with Randy Messersmith. I walked in on my first day and I was so nervous. I remember my hands were shaking and I felt like such a poser. I kept on thinking, what if they don't like me? Or what if they think I'm too young to be here? I think my first day experience is felt by more than just me. I think everyone feels this way. For us, it was about feeling we were too young, but for you, it was likely something else that made you question your belonging, or as I said, to feel like a poser. But the welcome I felt in that class was on my first day is what I think speaks to our shared experiences at SEC, that sense of community. I have been dancing since I was three. And so I have had experience in dance for most of my life. And therefore, the idea of dancing wasn't new to me. But I remember walking into my first day of class at SEC and being so afraid that I would struggle compared with the, the, the college dancers that were older than me. Uh, but I found with the first class, I was respected by my peers and the teacher because we were all there to learn, no matter how old I was. One of the students in my class said to me, wow, you're only 14, you're so good. And I remember how much that had helped me feel like I was able to be really, be able to work my hardest and be a part of the learning environment. Again, it was community. I think the environment of the school has really allowed us to flourish. And had Zoe and I not gotten such an amazing response from our peers and teachers, I don't think we would be the people we are today. We, Austin and I got accepted into the SEC Honors Program. It opened so many new doors to us that we hadn't even known about. We started to do service learning projects and that is when we met Becky, Lori, and Michelle. They were so nice and helpful and always willing to give us new opportunities to really get into the know the SEC and our surrounding community. From there, we became more involved in the school with clubs that made us feel like we were a part of the experience. Community, something bigger than ourselves. The staff in the service learning and leadership office um, feel like family to us. It feels like they know us 
instead of us just being some random students that attend the college. In fact, I think every faculty, um, per faculty member personally knows their students. Every single teacher becomes friends with each and every one of their students, and the service learning and leadership office is no different. They are geared towards helping others and being part of it. Showed how, showed us how we become a part of the community rather than just taking classes at SEC to get our degrees. Building this sense of community helped us recognize it's about the journey along the way. Another way that we got to see SEC through the way we experienced the people around us. Imagine that. SEC has wrapped itself around and through each of us. No matter what background anyone comes from, people make a family here and relationships that can last a lifetime. Speaking of experiences, let's talk about sculpture class at SEC. If you walk into one, you will immediately notice something about the class. I'll get to uh, Ted Uran in a minute. <laughs> I bet some of you thought that's where I was going. Just wait. What you will notice is that most of the sculpture students are well older than me. And let me just say one more thing about the people in the sculpture room. They are the nicest people you will ever meet. Everyone wants to talk to you and make you feel welcome. They'll help and talk. Um, I did, did I mention they like to talk? It may be about an upcoming project, it may be about life and future goals, or it may just be about how good donuts are. You never know. Something else about a sculpture class is the instructor you can find in it. You may know him around campus from his signature bandanas. He has one of the most one of most every color you can imagine, and probably some you can't. Ted Uran. I remember my first semester taking sculpture, and I was so scared of Ted, because that's his personality, big and colorful. Okay, and maybe a bit scary. But once you get to know him, he too is one of the nicest people you will ever meet. He keeps his sculpture classes organized and safe with proper knowledge and how to use a tool before going in, but he also keeps them fun and lighthearted. Never has there been a day where I didn't enjoy a sculpture class, and they are among the things I will miss about this place. There's a saying that experience teaches experience. It helps us find our way through life. That was true in my dance classes, and with another person in particular, Cheryl Ayers. Coming into one of my first classes at SCC, I was respected for being me and I was able to grow with them even though they were much older than me. Over these years at SCC, I was also able to meet fellow students that were returning students who had already had their life experience and had helped me believe, helped me find my way th through my experience at SCC. One person in particular in the dance building is Cheryl Ayers. She always is interested in my life as a dancer and has helped grow my confidence in class. Because she has believed that I can improve and accomplish my dream as a dancer. Whether she knows this, her belief is in me helped me believe I could try out for and dance principal roles in my career. I will carry that belief with me into the real world of a professional company. One last thing I'd like to share is how a painting class reminded me of our time here at SEC. I've always enjoyed painting, but I had never felt like I was good at it. Entering that into a classroom where many of the students are in their 90s. There, that's a lot of years to get really good at painting. One thing I learned in this class was no matter what kind of painter you are, it can take however long you want until you finally get to the end product. But that is not the important part. The important part is to see where you have come from to see where you want to go next. This helped me realize how the purpose is not to get to the end point. Instead, enjoy the experience of the journey. So none of you is likely a twin named Austin or Zoe that started college at 14 but we have all created our own unique college experiences. We have our community, a lasting family found through SEC that was created by our differences and our commonalities. And whatever those are, I think we can all agree that being an artichoke is pretty cool. Thank you, SEC, for providing a family-like learning environment that has helped us grow over these years. 
Thanks to all the staff for guiding us along and to the students for being so welcoming and supportive. And to our mother for being the push when we needed it and a soft landing for the occasional fall. We could not have done it without any of you. Congrats, class of 2020. We made it. Keep building community, keep learning, stay on your journeys. Thank, Thank you. you.